Hi friends, I thought I'd bring you a video today of something my husband found for me and to apologize, yesterday I realized that it had been a month since I had really uploaded when I uh, uploaded that um, thing about my sewing machine pedal. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so let's see. Ivy here is here to show you how big this box is. It is a, I'm not sure what the name of it is, but it is for the 18 inch dolls. It is um, vintage. I did find some online, um, but they didn't have a name. They just said rare, you know, but online things always say rare. Hold on one second. <coughs> okay, so let's move this little one out of the way. And, um, I'm pretty tickled about this. My husband just happened to go to Goodwill one Sunday, and he showed me a picture of this, and I did not know what it was, and I said, go ahead and get it. We'll figure it out when you get home. It was $6.99. Um, one of them that I found on McCary right now is going for $120. Let's open it up. Ooh, sugar. Sorry. This one drawer has a tendency to fall out when you turn it to the side. And open up this side. Right here is where the doll sits. Over here is a, a vanity. She's supposed to have a stool that goes under here. This opens up. Over here is for her clothes. Two drawers, both of which open up. And then over here, where it looks like it's for another doll, it's actually for a Murphy bed. I'm going to have to build one, but this is where you put the wooden dowel in here, and then the bed will fall down into here. And, and it'll be like a little room. She'll have a bed, and then she'll have her vanity, and she'll have her clothes hanging up and stuff. And I am, like, super tickled about it. Um, she ha it needs to be a few things fixed. Looks like someone might have tried to fix it right here. Um, but I, I will fix that. And um, it's a pretty navy blue color. And it's, it's like, uh, it's not like real wood. I think it's like that, I don't know, that fake plastic wood or something. Um, but it, it is sturdy, that's for sure. And I'm not really sure what time frame it's from. Um, sorry, I had it, I had it up on here. And like I said, I've done this once before. Um, but there's so many uh, different ones, but they don't say the name of what it is. And like okay, here, you might be able to see. She has her stool here, and here's the bed. You see that it has a frame, and then in between these frames are some slats. Let me see if I can find the picture of the one that shows the bed without the coverings on it. <sighs> but you know, when you're looking for something, your chances of finding it seem to be difficult. Okay, here, this one. Can you see right here is the undersign of the Murphy bed. So it's going to just have a three a frame, and then it's going to be on the dowel, and then it's going to have slats under it, and then when it'll fall, fall down, and then I'll have a cushion, and then we'll put a comforter over it. Um, and it looks like they had... 
one that was just, you know, just a two-sided one. Um, there seems to be different versions for a different kind that maybe are a different maker or something, or maybe someone did something. But this is neat. I like that idea. I might do something like that. But that is what he found me. Again, it was six ninety nine. And um let's take her ears off here. Alright, we'll set her inside there. And there she is. I'm pretty tickled. Um, I hope this isn't blurry. It's a new camera. Uh, I was trying to find something better and it is still not doing what I wanted to do. And then I can't see because right now it looks like she has four eyes. So, you know, I think it's me, not the camera. But anywho, that is that uh, $6.99, something that's going for 120 on McCary. Um, there's, I've seen them on eBay. Um, I wish I knew more about it, but I think it's pretty neat. Uh, and, you know, have something for the dolls. When I get the doll room fixed up, I found that I got to fix the wall in there. There seemed to be a leak by the window, so I'm going to have to fix that before I can get the doll room presentable and then do a tour for you all of that um, I want to say hello to all my new subscribers thank you I'm um, sorry if I seem you know kind of kind of flighty here it just seems to be one of those days I'm um, sorry I haven't posted in a while um, I've just been crafting and making things um, this right here is what I I just made Let's see if I can get it to sit up here. Oh my goodness, it worked this time. The other time it didn't. Oh goodness, don't breathe. Alright, this is made out of Dollar Tree foam board. The backing is. And then I used um, very thin uh, wooden dominoes. They have like a thin wood on the back. And then like a paper on the front. And the rounded on the corners. So I cut the corners off. And I cut the corners off. And just made them all straight. I think there's about 200 uh, little squares on there. I stained it. And then here the frame. Um, they're, we used to call them tongue depressors. I think now they're just called large craft sticks. So I cut off the corn, the rounded ends of those. And then I used um, my vinyl and stuck it on there. I'm pretty tickled with how it turned out. I like it. But I've just been working on that. And um, I have all kinds of things to show you all. And hopefully I will do that. Um, but today was just mainly to show you the trunk. So, hope everyone's doing well, and I will see you again soon. Okay, bye y'all.